How's it going, everybody? Midnight Silver Run. And I'm here to do a little air searching, a little hunt, per se. Be looking at the same old, same old. Can't find them if you're not looking for them. So here we go. We'll start with the homesteads again, 2015. Just looking for doubling in the windows, doubling of the water pump. Let me get my trusty little pointer here. You can kind of see where the die was breaking. Right here. And possibly right here. Nothing on that one. I'm gonna try and go through these quick so we can fit some more in here than just the same old, same old. Just running over the windows real quick. Fix the bottom of the bucket. The weed stalks a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time on these because really all we're going to probably find are maybe some die chips or breaks and it's fairly common on these and I have a few of them so I don't want to waste my time looking for die chips, breaks, cracks. Try to keep the coins a little straighter for you. I don't really, it doesn't matter to me which, which way the coin is because I'm not really looking at the coin per se. I'm just looking at details on the coin and it doesn't matter if they're upside down or, or not a detail is a detail. Spin it around, try to cut that light out. I gotta figure out how to turn the that screensaver or whatever it is off. It's rather annoying. Every, every few minutes it turns the screen black. See so again, you can see where the die was starting to break here. And you can see this line right here. And a little bit right there. That's the die breaking. They're starting to break, or maybe did break. Left something behind on a previous coin. This uh, this die chip is pretty common. You can almost find something wrong with every single one of these coins around the roof area. If you look hard enough. But I would more like to find, I'm looking for maybe the die chip that's here. They call it the leaky bucket. And then usually in one of these windows right here, there's some doubling and that's not doubling there. Some of them I've seen like the water pump handle was actually doubled in the window. It's pretty cool. It's like right here. This part of the handle was doubled back here. It was, it was pretty cool looking. Let's try to get through these, try to get through these. Well, I think you've seen on my recap, I, I had one of the snow on the roofs in there. So that just shows you how common they are. I usually find one or two a box, if not more. Ooh, and that's just nasty. Just nasty. Now you're gonna mess with that one. Call that one poo on the roof. So you can see where the dye's starting to break here. It is starting to, or did, I don't, I don't know. It's a good chance that Little pieces like this right here were left on the, the coin before it or maybe, you know, previous coin or something. Very possible because I've seen a lot of these where there's just little specks 
of it on the roof in the areas. Like here, you can see this whole thing is breaking right here. That whole thing. So that whoever gets that one or finds that one or if it breaks all at one time, that'll be awesome because it's breaking over here too. See it right here? All these. That's the, the die breaking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like right here, this part was left behind on another spot on a coin somewhere. And this is the actual coin, like this isn't left behind stuff. This is just the cracks in the die from where it's starting to break. And then those pieces will break off and then it'll be left behind on the roof. You know, I mean, it looks like these are, are cuds, not cuds, die chips, but they're not. It's just the, the starting to break of it which makes it highly visible. And then once it uh, once it breaks off, so you can see this one too, right here, all the way. Very, very crappy die, honestly, if you think about it. I mean, almost every single one of these coins has chips and breaks along the that roof line. So that just shows you how common they are. <clears throat> this might be one of the only ones I pulled out that didn't have any. Hey, look, there's a die chip right there in the window. Not nothing special, but that's the first one I found with a die chip in the window. And I guess since we're here, we'll uh, we'll see if we can zoom in a little bit closer, see if it's an actual die chip or if it just took a hit by another coin, which is very possible. Very possible. I'm thinking it's a die chip. Pull out my magnifying glass because I cannot really tell. Yep, yeah, that's a die chip. All right, well, that's a new one for me. I haven't seen the die chip in the one. I mean, I've seen it, but I haven't found it. So that's a die chip right there. A little piece of the metal breaking left behind. So, as much as it isn't really worth anything, I gotta keep it because it's the first one I found. Just, just gotta. All right, now we're gonna start looking at some 89Ds for the repent, bleh, repunched mint mark. This one's a really bad one, but since it was an 89D, I just figured I would pull it out anyways. And I'm leaning towards that's definitely uh, some machine doubling here and just damage. It took a hit there. Because the whole, the whole back of the coin is doubled right here. It's not just this little area it goes. And it doesn't come down in here really. It's more like the whole mint mark is fine, but then you can see where it's notched out right here. And then, you know, so that's, that's just damage. Definitely damage. We'll see a lot of that. Coins old. More damage. I gotta back this off a little bit so I can at least put my hand under there. I'm going to start looking at new microscopes as well. And this one's not bad, and it's definitely been awesome for a starter. But I don't think it would hurt to have something a little more uh, It's not bad, it's just a reflection that kills me. Like, I'm half tempted to just spend some, some good money on a, on a real nice one. I want to get a start working on my setup so I can start recording better videos as well. Get a better laptop. Bigger laptop so I have a better screen. 
I appreciate everybody watching, but imagine they're just watching to be nice over anything because I've looked at some of the videos and I don't know, they're not the best. They're not the worst. I know that, but I'll keep trying. I'll keep going. It'll get better. Just takes a little time. What do they say? Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, I guess uh, Midnight Silver Runs YouTube streaming stuff won't be bought in a day. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. I appreciate anybody that stops in and checks it out. That's all that really matters. Hey, that's, uh, that's not a D. And yes, it's the 89D. We're looking for no 89P is allowed. Not seeing nothing but really a lot of just damaged mint marks. Coin is what, 30 years old? So it's bound to happen. It's like, I see, see a lot of decent coins in the 60s and the 70s. And then once you get into the 80s, and then really into the 90s, and then into the 2000s, the coins just, they, uh, the condition just goes down horribly. You would think it would be the other way around. I mean, a coin made 30 years ago shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't look better than a coin that was made a year ago. I mean, it just, it really shouldn't, in theory. On paper, right? You know. See, there it is. But you know, you'll you'll have it that some of these coins just really aren't that bad condition. I should be probably pulling a couple of these out. I don't have anything before ninety nine for a book. Hey Zephyrus. Hey Mama Kitty. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, kitty? I don't have anything before 99 for a quarter book, so I'm going to have to, uh... I need to run out and get some, I suppose. What do you guys suggest? Anybody got any good suggestions on good earlier quarter books? I mean, 99 and before? Well, quarter books in general don't have to be earlier. I mean... We'll say 2019 and before. <laughs> I'm always open for suggestions, ideas. Otherwise, we don't, you know, don't learn nothing. There might be something out there I just don't know about. I got a... What is it, a Whitman folder for halves and then I got a uh, this really cool state court book well I think it's cool it's nothing special but still I'll uh if I remember I'll show you guys once I'm done uh jamming through these real quick now there's another one too it's the Bicentennial DDO FS 102. And there's doubling in this here. But I've seen a lot of the times when a lot of these are just, uh, it's so hard to see it. I mean, if you look at how smushed and mashed and. I think there's a little bit of doubling in the, like the W. You can see it in the the serifs in the. Well, here I'll show you. I know, Mama Kitty, you're gonna start bothering me because I'm not paying attention to you. But I believe you can see something right here. And then if I'm if I remember, maybe in the R, and the U or the G and the O and the D. I think it's it's not as obvious as the FS-101 in Liberty, but I mean, on a coin that's not 
you know, coins that don't look like this, it's probably a little noticeable. See, like, this is machine doubling here. But you see how this O kind of steps over a little bit? I think it's, I believe it's like that, but I believe the D, like the, the, the G would be a little bit fatter on the back side. This O side here would be just a little bit, it would be skinnier, but still fat because you, you know what I mean? This side would be a little bit bigger. But how can you tell really when you have all this crushed and, and then just all this jitterness and the, the dings and the coin? You know, so I mean, I look a little bit, but I don't pay attention too hard because I mean, it's hard to. You got a lot of machine doubling, dye deterioration. You can just see it. I mean, it's everywhere right here, inside here, all this here, that, all this. That's machine doubling horribly here. More right here. This is just dye deterioration right here right here that's not even machine doubling so i don't waste too much time looking at them and see how this one you can definitely tell this one isn't it because it's not stepped it's not fatter over here even though it's been dinged it almost looks like it's fatter this way which I believe it goes this way. I'm pretty sure it does. Either way, that's not it. Mama Kitty wants attention. I have a really cool toned uh, bicentennial I found that I put in my book, so that's why I'm not really too worried about keeping any ones and I mean I guess if I find one that looks outstanding I'll keep it because I still think the bicentennials are cool I, I don't I don't really care what anybody says just the the look of it and the design I think is pretty cool it's just a little different than the rest of the quarters you know I mean you, you just it's got a little bit of fanciness to it <coughs> even though it's just a regular quarter you know, that's what I, I've always liked about it. You know, of course you can't maybe see something on a coin like this. Now, this one, it's still dinged up, but not as dinged up as some of the other ones. for my book. I don't remember. I think there was only one slot for the bicentennial. Get all that doubling and damage. Hmm. Well, and that one looked a little weird, didn't it? It's a lot of dye uh, polish and it looks like all these hardcore scratches. That's, that's not damage. Those are like abrasions from when they polish the dye. You can see them all. You see how they go behind the letters. Well, they don't go over the letters. They don't necessarily go behind them. They stop at them. See where this one just looks dinged up? Because it, it is. <laughs> This would be another one you might be able to tell if you could see it, because the, the G and the O and God are good. They're a lot better. The R has, you know, there's lettering that you can read clearly. I got a whole another stack of these things. There's so many of these things sometimes. It's a, it's a good coin to check for an Aaron every time because, I mean, I get, I think I got like 
probably a roll, maybe a roll and a half of uh, bicentennials in this box. Get all the machine doubling. So I mean, it, and PCGS, uh, their whatever their grading site or whatever it is. There's there's grades that don't even have a coin in it, you know, no population of certain grades. So, I mean, if you find one and you get a decent grade, you have a possibility of maybe hitting a grade that nobody's, nobody has landed in yet. It just all depends on the, the condition of the coin. So, really, if this is in, if they made these in mint sets or proof sets, I mean, not proof sets, obviously, but if, if these were in any kind of mint sets, it might not hurt to to try and cherry pick some of those and see if you can find the FS101 in there in really good condition because it's not it's not a cheap coin if you can find one. See now I like that right there. All right, well look at that. I just think it's damaged. And what I'm looking at is you can see this right here. But I don't see any actual splitting in the tail. But then I can see it right here too in the other coin. So it's probably just deterioration of the coin over time. You know, being dinged and slammed around. and Yeah, Zephyrus. You don't need to jump up there. You don't need to do that. I'm telling you. You don't. No, you don't. Don't do it. Oh, you did it. She went and did it. <laughs> I don't really care. Oh, yeah. You gonna sit up there and yell at me now? From a higher position, do you have the high ground, Zephyrus? No. You do? Okay. I won't mess with you then. I shall leave you alone on your high ground. Up there, kitty. Okay? I don't know if you guys can hear me, but she, she jumped up out of something above my head. Now she's just up there uh, kind of quietly telling me how she feels. She does talk back. I'm going to build him. Uh... Yeah, I'm talking about you, not to you. Okay. No, oh, okay. I have these uh, rafter things in my basement. And uh, I'm going to build them like a crawl, climb thing that hangs from the ceiling. So it gives them something to run around in and play in and get them off the ground. Because they're really, they, they're, they really like being up off the ground. Like a lot. They they climb on the highest stuff they can climb on. Thankfully, they don't break too much stuff. They don't get too wild with it, though. Oh, you done up there now? Huh? Don't look. <laughs> You're supposed to be sleeping like Loki was. Yeah. Catch her trip. First time owning bangles, I tell you what, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. They are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Completely different than owning your regular household cat. I mean, it's not, but it is. 
they, they have their quirks. I happily let you know about it. So vocal, they talk so much. And when they feel like they're being ignored, they talk even louder. Yes, talk, that's what they call it, talking. I call it screaming. All right, as you can see, no, uh, nothing special in a bicentennial department. But that's fine. It's not too often you're gonna find two. Man. Yeah, it's just the way the lights hit this one. When I first started looking at coins, every time I'd look at a coin and I'd see some kind of discoloration or something, I would instantly be, oh yeah, it's a double die. Look at that double die, or... Now I realize that most of the time it's just damage or, I don't know, everything but a double die. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they're definitely out there. But, it's just finding them. What are you, 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 you gonna start crying, huh? You gonna start bothering me now? It's not time to eat. Actually, I put food out for you, so why don't you go eat? Let's look at the Minnesota, see if we can find any uh, extra trees. A lot of these normally why I'm uh, hunting, I'll just search them as I go. So that's why, I mean, I just I just pull some out aside that are easier to look at. Normally, I would just look at all these uh, while I'm hunting them. And then uh, not worry about it. See, now that looks like. It looks like damage on a coin. <laughs> That's why I always have a, a, a smaller, finer magnifying glass that I keep. Because it, what, what looks like on my microscope will usually look completely different on my magnifying glass. It's like my magnifying glass is in HD, it just isn't a very, very, very high uh, zoom. Magnification, I think that's a better word. It's not a very high magnification. And uh, so, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's like 16 or 20 or something like that, I don't, I don't remember. But it's, it's enough to see everything clearly, but it's just not clear enough to, or uh, close enough to see, like, right on top of the coin. But, you know, moving the coin around a little bit, you can always get a good idea. But it's just so clear, it usually always, you know, you can see whatever you're looking at pretty good with it. It'd be cool to find one of these and then one of the extra cactuses. And then the extra leaf on the Wisconsin cow one with the corn husk and the cheese wheel. I think that'd be really cool. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The battery thing came on and told me, uh,
My phone is dying. There's usually quite a few of these in a in a box of coins. Not a lot, a lot, but I mean, not too many where it doesn't hurt to set them aside and search them. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe a roll, half a roll, a roll, and two boxes. I didn't find two. I mean, it's not horribly bad. And for things that are a little more valuable, you know, it might be worth stopping and looking for. Even if you're just, you know, looking for coins to uh, try and sell to make a couple easy dollars off of easy finds and change, you know. And it's possible. You probably ain't going to get rich doing it, but, you know. We'll try and look at these. This will be the 1970 D. And we'll be looking for very hard to see doubling and uh, disintegrated coins, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the times I end up just uh, giving up on these because they're just in such bad shape. looking for things that and this isn't an obvious obvious doubling either this is the one you need to actually kind of uh, look for on the coin It's one of those ones where it's just like little it's it's itsy bitsy pieces. You know, like a spec here, a spec there type of deal. And you're not gonna be able to tell that most of these coins. It's a shame. Just think of how many things are getting lost to, to damage in a coin, you know? Yeah, they might not be worth tons of money, but it's still cool to find. And every day we probably lose, you know, cool doublings and varieties and repunchment marks and just all kinds of different things. Just good coins in general, nice coins that uh, get damaged by, you know, whatever. Whatever their uh, life had in store for them, I guess. I think this is one you might want to try and cherry pick out of uh, 70 mint sets, to be honest, because, you know, not saying that it's worth a lot of money or anything, but to have a nice, you know, one that you can actually tell would be the best way to go with this one, because it's, 
It's not an obvious doubling anyways. So, you know, it leads me back to what I talk about every time when I do one of these is, is it really worth, you know, because right now I could be <clears throat> checking a different year. You know, you're technically wasting time on a coin that, yeah, you might find, but did you really find it? I mean, how do you tell on that? Say there's a double die in there. One that's not very obvious. And I'm no, no professional, so I mean, you know, where one guy might be able to see it. For me, I'm just, uh, I don't see it. I mean, if it's in Liberty, sometimes it's not so, it's not so bad. You know, if you get the letters are bigger. For some reason, they, they tend to uh, not get crushed as much, but I guess that has something to probably do with being right in between the rim and uh, Washington's head, you know? So there's a little bit of uh, room to uh, protect the coin where these right here are in the middle of the coin, you know, in a field. So you're always touching them and pushing on them and rubbing on it. Yeah, I just don't see how you can see it in coins like this. <coughs> now, I'm not saying this isn't one you can't find in pocket change, the 1970D DDO, but it, it's gonna be hard. I mean, honestly. But again, if you search through your coins, you know, you should be bound to find one someday, you would think. Theoretically, maybe not this exact one, but, you know, double dies in general. You, you may never find the ones you're looking for. You might find ones that you were never looking for, you know, which I think is pretty cool in itself, you know. But it's just hard to tell with, you know, you, this right here. Where'd my thing go? You know, you got a, you got all this just flattened and wind open and damaged and all this. This R is totally messed. It's, you know, it's just like you can't. <clears throat> if it was a double die, it's not anymore as far as. That. All right, guys. Well, I've held you here for almost 40 minutes. Have a good evening, everybody.